Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gents, and members of the Big Red Food Army. It's your boy, Big Red, back for another fast food fat man. You're going to say, well, Big Red, you in your house. Well, guess what? I still ain't got a car, so I don't film the drive through Because I'm in my friend's car, and he's not down with the filming. So anyway, what do we have? We got, I don't know if you can see that in the, in the thing, but yeah, we got some Taco Bell. And what are we getting down with? We getting down with their limited edition steak nachos. So let's take y'all in on a little close, close. There you go, a little close, close. I mean, it looks pretty, but uh, let's see what it does when it hits this face piece. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit this with some a little Diablo, a little dab dab. A little double sauce, El Diablo, and what goes with the devil? Nothing more than fire. I mean, come on, talk about. I mean, this Mexican fortune cookie gives me no fortune. I mean, really? I mean, are you trying to say that Big Red uh, is screwed? So let's uh, let's see what this here does. This one says. You're buying. No, I already bought. I bought this, yo. Of course I'm buying. I bought this stuff. What kind of fortune is that? And then what's this one say? This one says, Never a dull moment. Definitely not with Big Red. There's never a dull moment. There's always some kind of drama or shit going on. You never know. Never know what's going to happen. So, so far, the no fortune... The buying, what did the devil one say? Let's see what devil said. Devil told me, hang on. Oh, look at that. The devil had no fortune for me either. So two no fortunes, I'm buying, which I already bought, and then never a dull moment. So let's see what this tastes like. I mean, it looks like just some nacho cheese. Looks like some refried beans and some steak. And y'all saw the close up, chopped tomatoes and onions. I'm going to assume that the outer side is going to have crunchy stuff, crunchy, uh, crunchy chips, but everything with sour cream and tomatoes and all that other jazz is going to be nice and soggy. And they said on the thing, double the steak. They also have a chicken one, grilled chicken one. It's like Taco Bell never tries to reinvent the wheel. They're just like, hey, we got these 10 ingredients. Let's put them in a different combination. Just as I suspected, the center ones are nice and soggy. A lot of broken chips. That means fast food. Like, look at this poor guy. He's this chip could use some Viagra. This guy too, he could use a little Viagra. It's like they shoved all the meat on one side here. This meat's held together by a string of cheese. Well, not so much no more. So we'll try a piece of this steak by itself. I 
basically it seems like uh, the same steak they put in the grilled steak XX burrito. Which goes back to me saying Taco Bell don't reinvent the wheel. They just reconfigure it. Same 10 items just placed in a different order on a different thing. Either it's going in a taco or burrito or on top of some nachos. I think the last thing that they invented was the naked egg breakfast taco and the naked chicken taco. But other than that, they ain't invented nothing in a while. Just the same old, same old, reconfigured. But you know what? Hey, if it works for them. Um, well, I mean, it's five bucks, you know what I mean? It's a lot of food for five bucks, believe it or not. And you get a drink. What's in the cup? Mountain Dew Spiked Lemonade. Non-alcoholic Spiked Lemonade. I guess they call carbonation, having it carbonized, being spiked. Because it's carbonated lemonade is what it is. I think I did a review on that before in the snack snack attack series. I think we did spike lemonade. We did a bunch of the Mountain Dews. My son loves that stuff. I on the other hand, I'm perfectly content with drinking water and milk. Because they're soggy, and you can't find something like a harder one to pick up, those soggy ones with, fingers tend to get a little mess mess. Ooh, ooh, don't get that on you. A lot of broken chips, Taco Bell. It's like this might have been from the bottom of the bag. They're like, oh, it's the back of this bag. I mean, the bottom of this bag, let's just pour them in there. Cover them with a bunch of crap. They'll never notice. Well, guess what? I noticed. And I understand you're going to have some breakage. But come on, this is a little ridiculous. And everything's center loaded, like, spread it out a little bit. The picture had it spread out nice and pretty.
Ooh, we're burning that's been working over time. Like I said, everything was pretty much center loaded. So I'm getting a lot of plain chips to the side. And if this was two times the steak, I hate to see what one time the steak was, because that's all we're in here. A lot of tomatoes, a lot of refried beans, cheese, and other stuff, but... Oh, there's a piece of steak hiding, look at There's like two or three pieces of steak hiding over here. Uh, oh, excuse me.
Now I got a bunch of chips. Broken at that. And just that plain chips are pretty uh, flavorless, to be honest with you. There's like zero toppings left, just a bunch of broken chips. I think that was like the last piece of tomato. Yep, just a bunch of broken chips left. Nothing to wash it down with. But we paid for it, we're going to finish it. Hmm. The chips are kind of, uh, eh. There's a little bit of refried beans stuck to the side here. We might be able to manage to scoop up. Not much. That's another piece of tomato. I feel like I hit the lottery now. Uh, don't get that on you. Last two pieces. All right, so. I gotta get rid of this mouth for a crop. It's dry, so I have to chew some ice, help it down. So, Taco Bell, for your limited time double steak nachos in a $5 box, I'm only going to give y'all like a 2.5, 2.5. 
dead center. Because uh, I don't think it was if that was two times the stake, I would have been sorry to see one times the stake because there wasn't a lot of stake there. There was a lot of Viagra chips. A lot of broken chips. So yeah, I wasn't that impressed. And again, y'all not reinventing the wheel. Y'all just reconfiguring the wheel. So for that, you get that 2.5. It's a lot of chips. And, I mean, it's a lot of stuff for five bucks plus a drink. And, but I mean, was it that good? I don't think so. Anyway, over here, the, put it to you this way. For five bucks, you could find something better on the Taco Bell menu. So, with that being said, over here, you got the subscription button. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not done so already. Next to that, that notification bell. Click that, and you'll be notified when I have new content. Over here, thumbs up, thumbs down. Pop, pop. Hit me with one. It doesn't matter which. We like these a lot better. And then down below, you have that description box with a description of the video. Links to follow me on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. There's this link to this channel's homepage where you can find all the older videos separated by series. And as of the making of this video, I'm probably up to 500 and something videos with probably maybe another 100 videos in reserve that I still haven't uploaded yet. Most of them are snacks. That's why you're getting a double up on snacks. Uh... Until I get my own car, you'll be getting a lot of snack videos because it's easy. I just get them at the grocery store and have a bunch of snacks. Anyway, enough of that shenanigans. There's also a link to my friend's t-shirt website where you can purchase Dark Side of Red t-shirts, Big Red Show t-shirts. You can even get some of his t-shirts. I'll get a little scratch for the sale of mine. He'll get a little scratch and you'll get a cool t-shirt. Check that website out. It's www.timp.com, www.t. E E I M P dot com and uh yeah help a brother out anyway uh if not if you don't want to type it into your browser there's the link down below also there's a link to the PayPal channel uh PayPal account if you want to sponsor a video or whatever you want to help just fund the channel or whatever it's up to you know that you don't have to but it's there if you want to also there's a physical address. You could send me hate mail. You could send me fan mail. You could send me uh, stuff to unbox, stuff to sample, stuff to try. Hey, you want to see unboxing videos or what have you? Send me something. You'll get your shout out that you sent it. And you know the drill. Anyway, here's where I thank each and every one of y'all from the bottom of this big fat bottomless gut to the top of this almost bald dome. Thanks. Each and every one of you guys like my subbies a little bit more. So hit that subscription button, yo. But I need you to do me that favor as well. Tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Share the video with your family and friends. Show them how you get down with Big Red. Maybe they'd like to get down with Big Red too. Never know unless you share the video. Caring sharing. Start caring by sharing the video. I'll share other useless crap. Why not this useless crap? Anyway, thanks for hanging with your boy for another episode of the fast food fat man and i'll see you guys next time in the drive through or back here by my couch you never know but it'll be something fast food possibly i'll see you guys next time i'm out here i gotta go take a bath i'm old it's late it's time to put on the pjs <laughs>